Hey there and welcome to a new FIFA Myths. Can you pack an icon in a starter pack? Leave a like if you want to see a new FIFA Myths tomorrow as well. And let's go. You can't get two red cards in one game. I've never seen this before in FIFA, but apparently this guy got informed Banashia for 70k and then went into a game and got two red cards. Either it's a crazy glitch or he actually got two red cards. I'll leave you guys to decide what you think about that one. Is it a myth or is it true? You can't pack an icon in a starter pack. This has to be one of the luckiest packs you've ever seen. This guy did actually get himself Deco in a starter objective pack. Absolutely unreal look. Considering these packs are never good, especially for most of us. And this guy got himself Deco, who by the way, would sell for a lot. I mean, just incredible pack look. Castro is the only non-footballer to receive a FIFA card in-game. One of the greatest moments ever in FIFA history happened when my man Castro received his own FIFA card for streaming for 50 hours on a charity stream. Absolutely brilliant from Castro, man. I honestly, every time I watch this, I've seen it a lot, I get very emotional because it's just, it's incredible what a FIFA community can do and sometimes I think we lose track of that and it's incredible, man. I was so proud of Castro for doing this, and he did get his own FIFA card. He is, though, one of the few people to get their own card who are non-footballers in FIFA. EA heard about Kenton Dow's battle with Cantor about two years ago now in FIFA 16, and actually gave him not only his own coaching card, which gave a plus 5% shot increase to players, they also did a brilliant thing by giving Kenton his own 95 rated card. Amazing job by EA, there really was incredible. And yeah, this was honestly amazing. There is a new chemistry glitch in FIFA. This is a really bizarre new glitch that apparently, according to this footage, is on FIFA right now. As you can see, the current chemistry is 98. When you add Jesus there, it gets plus two. That should not happen. Rui Costa was on, um, I think he was on nine chemistry there as he would, yeah, he'd be on nine chemistry, even though he's centre forward. Yet when you put Jesus back on, for some reason, he gets plus two, and it stays at 100. That's really weird. So you guys know me very well by now. I've been on UC, well, four times, four years, and I've been doing FIFA Miss a long time now, probably about nearly two years. And look, I love making it for this reason. When I go and do it, for some reason, it goes to 96, so I'll get minus two. This is a really strange one. If you guys know about this, comment down below if you guys know any more info about that. But yeah, apparently there's a weird glitch right now where the icon gets less chem than uh, Jesus. Felipe Luis has an unreleased footmas card. This myth was a great comment on the last video. If you go onto squad battles, guys, and press view squad on the Pele squad battle, the first squad, you can see an unreleased card. For Footmas, it is actually Felipe Luis's Footmas card, 86 rating, very nice card. I do wish EA increased the rating a bit more just to make Footmas a bit more hype, but still, it's a cool card. I think this is, I'm guessing this is one of the cards that was unreleased due to the change up, as we all knew the cards that were coming. Still, it's pretty interesting. This is not a myth. Hope you guys love the new episode of Thief Myths. It probably is my favorite video to make. It really is a lot of fun doing all this kind of stuff on FIFA. If you have any crazy myths, leave them in the comments down below. I'll be doing a comment special in the next one for you guys, as you always go crazy for this episode, for these videos. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it.